Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be on mammary gland tumors. I've had a lot of people request this video and I had been planning on doing it a really, really long time ago and just never got around to it. So the beginning clips are going to be recent ones of Uno and Ingrid and Iona. Um, and then at the end of the video I have some clips of Mishka and Mila before they passed away when they did have their mammary gland tumors. So I will just chat a little bit and let you guys see Uno eating some pasta. Mammary gland tumors are super common in rats and I mean I've seen a lot of different statistics saying you know what's the percentages on how many rats would get it but um, the average seems to be 70 to 80 percent of female rats that are not spayed will get a mammary gland tumor at some point in their life. The mammary tissue is really extensive in rats and it pretty much runs from their shoulders all the way down to the base of the tail and the tumors can arise anywhere in that area where there's technically mammary tissue. Um, but most of the time they end up popping up in the arm, the abdomen, and the groin. And they can occur in any age, but they usually start appearing around 18 months. And the male rats can get them, but it's just not as common. And the most common type of mammary gland tumor is a fibroadenoma. And it's basically a benign encapsulated tumor, which means that it's not cancer. These tumors are actually easy to remove when you take them to the vet and get surgery because they're less invasive. And even though they can be removed, they do tend to come back, sometimes even in the same exact spot. These tumors are soft and kind of fleshy, and they almost feel as if they're not really attached to the rat's body. Rats can also get tumors that are adenocarcinomas, which are cancerous. These tumors are less common and they're firm, they're really hard to the touch, almost like a hard knot, and they can also metastasize by traveling through lymph nodes and blood vessels going into the lungs and the bones and the blood, and they can result in tumors in other parts of the body. There is a lot of speculation on why rats get mammary gland tumors, such as age, sex, genetics, the environment, the diet that you're feeding your rat. So it's really hard to pinpoint something to stop doing or start doing in order to prevent your rat from getting a tumor. Some of these tumors can actually grow really fast and some of them grow a little slower and stay a pretty small size for a longer period of time. I wanted to show you Mila's tumor so you could see how fast hers grew. This was about two weeks after we had noticed that she had formed a mammary gland tumor in her groin area. And then this photo was taken a week later so you can see that it's gotten a little bigger, it's a little more rounder, it's protruding out a little more. And then within a week after that, it started to um, get even bigger and it looked like it was about to rupture. So after this photo was taken, then this happened the very next day. It had completely ruptured and it looked really sore, so we did take her to the vet and they recommended euthanizing her. So that's why Mila got put to sleep. And this is Mishka. Her tumor popped up around the same time that Mila's did. However, hers stayed the same size for a really long period of time. However, the vet did not do surgery on her because the tumor was actually attached to her urinary tract. This is one of my friend's rats and she sent me these photos and I just thought that it was really interesting that since the rat was hairless, you can actually see that the nipple is right in the middle of this tumor and that the mammary gland is around that and it's just like, you know, easier to see since the rat is hairless. Okay, so if you notice that your rat has a mammary gland tumor, you technically are going to have two options. Number one is take it to the vet and have the tumor removed, depending on the position. Like I said, with Mishka's tumor, he didn't want to do surgery because it was attached to her urinary tract. And then she also was over two years of age, so he did not want to operate. So depending on your rat's age and where the tumor is located, you can get it removed. I do suggest getting your rat spayed during that same surgery. 
This will prevent other tumors from popping up later on. Option number two, depending on your rat's age, is to just kind of wait it out. Just keep an eye on your rat and try to keep them comfortable. And once the tumor becomes too large for them to walk or eat to be able to get around, then it's usually time to go ahead and humanely euthanize the rat. You don't want them suffering. And also, if it gets too large and then it begins to rupture like Mila's did, then you definitely don't want that happening. So I hope this video helped you guys. Leave any comments below or if you have any questions and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.